Meet Anne. She's 21 years old and in her last semester of undergrad in political science at Pyle University. Ever since she was a little girl, she dreamed of becoming a lawyer. And this year, her dreams might come true. The past semester has been pretty tough, but Anne's pulled through with flying colors. Anne's always been a straight A student, but she's more than just that. She's a varsity volleyball athlete. This year, her team plays second at the championships. She's on the executive board of Pyle University's Student Association, advocating for her fellow classmates. She also volunteers every week at her local food bank. And you'd think that with everything on her plate, she wouldn't have much time for friends. But that's not the case. Anne is very popular and adored by everyone. To no one's surprise, Anne did it. She got accepted into law school and even got a $5,000 entrance scholarship for her academic and extracurricular activities. To celebrate her acceptance, Anne and her friends decided to let loose and go out for some drinks. Anne had a big presentation the next day for a proposal she was making for the Pyle Student Association, but luckily, she buckled down earlier and got all of her work done before heading out. Anne's going easy on the drinks, only having a few because she knows that she cannot be hungover for her meeting tomorrow. Sadly, Anne will never be able to go to law school and fulfill her dreams of becoming a lawyer, as she passed away suddenly that night. Her autopsy report concluded that her cause of death was a myocardial infarction, and the report found traces of alcohol and Adderall in her body. How did this happen? Anne's consumption of both alcohol and Adderall in a short period of time led to a hypertensive crisis resulting in a myocardial infarction. She bought the Adderall from her friend with ADHD and used it to help her concentrate on her project so that she would have time to go out with her friends. Never having seen a doctor for the prescription medication, she didn't realize the proper way to take Adderall. She didn't know that she shouldn't consume alcohol while taking them. Both alcohol and Adderall, which contains amphetamines, are metabolized by the zinc pathway. When both are consumed together, Adderall, or amphetamines, take longer to metabolize and build up in the body. A common side effect of Adderall is fast, pounding, or irregular heartbeat or pulse. It's also known to increase heart rate. So, when Adderall takes longer to metabolize, the hypertensive results can be detrimental. This can lead to a hypertensive crisis, cardiomyopathy, arrhythmia, and sometimes even myocardial infarctions. If you or someone you know is suffering from an illicit drug problem, get help. One reason Adderall may be abused is if someone is struggling to keep up with the academic demands. Remember, there is support for that. ADHD medication is not the only solution.